So, with that being said, um, this is 2020, so I'm glad that you started off by saying that. So, 2020, of course, was the pandemic and everything like that. Now, we all know during that time, the government was rolling out the PPP and all these other government programs that was helping people out, right? Mm -hmm. So, right now, since there is no PPP-type program, right, so what is the best way for somebody to be able to get funding if they're just starting out into uh, getting into uh, uh, their business? Yeah, cool. That's a great question right there. Th this is what y'all need to listen up for. Yeah, this is, this is where the this, game is. Y'all trying to get this funding? You, you, this part right here. I'm yeah. helping y'all a lot here, y'all. I'm trying to go ahead and get some game for y'all. Let's so, do it. Come so on. PPP is gone. You know, they, they that's just not going to work. You're not going to get that free money like that, all right? Unless, <laughs> you know, two, three years, they may have something that comes up. But as of right now, power to, uh, leverage the power of business credit. Right. All it takes is, number one, a good credit score because you can't do nothing with, without a good credit score, okay? So if you got negatives on your credit report, you out of there. Collections, charge offs, late payments, even if you got too many hard inquiries, right? Mm -hmm. Hard inquiries may not affect your credit score by, you know, 50, 60 points like a, like a collection or a charge off, but right. that's, uh, it's like a credit history type of deal. So, anyway, make sure your credit report is nice and clean. Right. And if it's not, listen, you know, I, I, I got you, all right? So, pull up. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Credit history, again, I, I'm, I keep on uh, reiterating that credit history is very important. Again, don't just get a 700 credit score, all right? So, once you do that, before you even create your LLC, right. you want to make sure that your business that you uh, create is going to be credible, right? Okay. So you must make sure that you have a good business, uh, a, a good business address, right? It can't just be a virtual, like a virtual address that you see. The first one you see that says nine dollars. You know, if you go to iPostal, iPostal, you got Opus, you got Regis. Regis Those are all places yeah. that you can actually get um, uh, business addresses from. But you must must make sure that you look them up to make sure that it's actual a, a brick and mortar building. Right, right. Can't be attached to a Staples, a, a UPS, you know. A mailbox or something like that, right. Exactly. It must be something that's, uh, like you said, a, an actual structure where, like it's a shared workplace, like we work mm -hmm. and they have sections where you can process mail and stuff like that, right. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. So that's the first step, right, when you, before you even create your LLC, all right, because you know, when you create your LLC, it's going to ask you for your business address. You want to do everything right the first time, all right. Makes sense, right. Get yourself a business uh, email address, not something that ends at, you know, Jerron at, you know, gmail.com, right? Right. It's got to right. be something like support at, you know, sixfigurefunding.com or info at, you know. So go ahead and pay that additional money. Like, the more money that you pay, the more professional that you look. Because, again, they're going to look you up. Get the yourself. more credible you seem to Exactly, yeah. Right, okay. The more credible you seem, the more money they're going to give you. Like, you might still get some funding, but you might not get as much. The difference between getting 10000 and 50000 each bank can be Big huge. difference, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. okay. Yeah. So those are some of the things right there. You also got your, um, you know, a lot of people say you know, get a toll-free number. I would just say that kind of like just depends on, like I said, I mean, I don't know the actual true answer to that one. Me, I don't I don't have a toll-free. Well, I had one, but I don't really don't use it. I use my local numbers. Right.